Hi, it's Eleanor Cameron, and today I am back with podcast number five. Today joining me is my mom, Cammie Cameron, and we are going to be talking today about vacationing. Hi, Eleanor. Thanks for having me. Um, so one of my first questions I have is where have you traveled and where has been your favorite place? Oh gosh, we have traveled so many different places. Um, oh gosh, I don't know if I have one favorite thing. I know, um, it would be anywhere warm. Um, I am not a fan of cold or anywhere that I'm going to be cold or even if it's August and it's cold. Um, I remember we went to Estes Park last August and it was beautiful, beautiful, just like, a you know, you'd see in the pictures. The mountains were glorious, but it was cold. We wore sweatshirts and... Um, Anyway, I mean, I I didn't mind it, but um, I would rather be warm and somewhere tropical. My favorite spot we have traveled um, has been Seacrest Beach in Florida. I really enjoyed it. It was beautiful scenery. The water was really clear, and... It was just a lot of fun because we had bikes there. We could ride around the beach, and there's just a lot of different things. You could see a lot of cute shops. Um, what was your favorite beach you've been to? Oh, I I would say, um, well, Mexico. Um, when we went to Mexico, those beaches are beautiful um, as far as... Um, Beach, I like to see my feet. So if I am, if the water's not clear, um, I'm a little bit of um, a, a picky beach person. Um, I like the sand to be white and powdery, and um, I've gotten a little um, particular on that as I've gotten older. It it used to not matter to me, and now. Uh, the older I get, um, I don't want to waste my time or money on something that looks like the Mississippi River. Um, the worst beach you've been to? Well, um, I would almost say, hmm, I don't know, um, it seems like, do you remember that time we went to Gulf Shores and it was seaweed. full of seaweed? Um, the sand there isn't as pretty as if you go on down and you go to Destin. Um, I know one year we went down to Miami, which was Nikki Beach, and that was really, really nice. Um, maybe not, um, you know, Mexico nice, but... But pretty close, and I think um, the Destin area, which is your Seacrest and and um, Alley Beach, um, that area is really hard to beat too. So, so um, although I'm I'm a little particular, um, I don't know. I I do like a pretty beach, but it seems like on the Atlantic side, um, not the Gulf side, it's it's not quite as nice. When we went to um, Texas this year to Jamaica Beach, is that what it's called? Yeah, Galveston Island. Yeah. There were a bunch of crabs in the water that would keep biting us, and you couldn't even really see your you feet. You could in there. not see your feet. I it's don't recommend. Pretty dirty. <laughs> I don't recommend Galveston Island, probably, but. But we did get to see some really neat things on our trip to um, Texas. I mean, Texas has a lot to offer. Um, the Fort Worth. Um, we, you know, one of our favorite places to go is Fort Worth. And um, we, we saw the Alamo. We went to the Riverwalk. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, the beach wasn't great, but it was still, I guess, a beach. Um, the stockyards were probably my favorite. 
part of Texas. At, at um, close to Billy Bob's, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, that was nice. Where do you want to go in the future? Well, um, you know, um, the whole restrictions and COVID thing, um, has really changed things. Um, and that's why we ended up in Texas again and Florida and Texas and Florida is because, um, their, their restrictions are less. Um, just like you had said, you wanted to go to the Redwood Forest this year and I wanted to go there too, kind of get towards California and, um, kind of on the West coast, but, um, I don't know the, the restrictions and, um, the uh, amount of people they were letting into parks and all of that was just not worth, um, worth the journey there. So I'm hoping that in the future, um, we are able to do a little more traveling with, with, um, fewer restrictions, but it's not looking that way anytime soon. What's your favorite way to travel? Well, I always like to drive um, because, number one, um, you can stop when you want. You can, you've got your own wheels. Um, if you want to stop and see something or stop at Walmart or stop and shop or do anything you want. You've got your own wheels and, and it's kind of like taking the scenic route. It, and it makes, I don't know, your trip more enjoyable to me. I can pack more. Um, whereas, um, if you fly, you have the expense of flying, you've got, you know, you're still spending a day at the airport because you've got to be like three hours early and go through security and wait on the flight and hope to not get delayed. There's a lot of headaches to me with flying. It never seems easier. It seems like a lot of complication. So if, I mean, if time allows, I will always just drive just because I like to see things. I like to experience things and I like to you know, it's another state that I can say I've been through maybe. Um, my sister lives in Arizona and, and I've never driven there. So that's kind of a goal of mine. I'd like to, um, you know, there's some states that direction that I haven't been in. I think I, you go through New Mexico and I, I have not, um, not been in New Mexico. So anyway, um, I look forward to that. With me, um, activities are very important on vacation. Like, I either want to be at the beach, busy doing something, bike riding, skiing, fishing, hiking. But I like to stay busy on my trips. What do you like doing on yours? Well, um, I don't know. It depends who I'm with, I guess. Um... And I always think um, first and foremost is budget in mind and, um, you know, what is it we're doing? Um, You know, when I pick out what we're going to do first, the first thing I consider is is budget. Okay, so let's say this year, um, you know, when you you kids were younger, we we, do... When we did Disney, um, you know, you have to consider, okay, well, we're going to have to drive because the tickets to get in are so expensive, so we'll just drive it. I mean, um, and also keeping budget in mind with a family, um, state parks are great. I know that you kids always said that you would rather go to the Smoky Mountains and go, go on trails and hikes. You liked that better than you ever liked Disney. Um, and and I don't know, that, that was always kind of a fun, relaxing way to have fun for everybody um, was, you know, it just really the only expense you had um, when you're going to state parks and, and places like that are are your hotel and your food. I mean, really, it's, it's the beauty and the surrounding 
that that's all free that you get to take in. So um, I'd say with family, when I'm taking family, that that is important. Now, if it's just my husband and I, and we go somewhere, food is important. I I want to go with him and enjoy um, some good food and and um, you know maybe not necessarily hiking, maybe just um, pretty scenery or or um, maybe shopping. But you know it it just depends on. Um, on what we're doing I guess or what what the agenda is all right well that's all we have time for today so thank you for talking to me today sure thanks for having me anytime